Hey everybody, in an earlier video that I did this week, I had mentioned my herbal preparation called Banishing Troublemaker. And I wanted to give you the recipe so you could, guys could try it out and see how well it works for you. It's a very simple recipe and it contains several different herbs and you can also make it into a oil form and wear it as a perfume. Just use the same um, essential oils as the herbs, but just use olive oil or jojoba or whatever carrier oil that you use and just use a few drops of each in the bottle and employ it as a perfume instead. So you're going to need some cloves. Cloves has a lot of spiritual vibrations. It's very purifying and it also drives any hostile and negative forces away. You're going to need some rue, which is a very protective herb. You're going to need some dragon's blood. Dragon's blood is also protective, and it's got the added benefit that it lends power to whatever it is that you're making. You're going to need some basil. Basil is going to compel the other person to leave, which is basically the intent. You want the person to leave voluntarily, and basil will help do that. You're going to need some patchouli. Patchouli is great for protection. And you're also going to need some nettles. I don't have any nettles on hand, but you can also substitute it with rosemary if you don't have it, an ingredient that I mentioned. And what you're going to do is you're going to grind it up into a powder. And after you, you know, cast your circle and you consecrate it and power it and all that, you're going to put it into a jar and you're going to employ it in the same way that you would hot for powder, which is basically you're going to um, sprinkle a little bit around the perimeter of your property, or you can put it into a bag and strategically place it around your home. You can sprinkle it in their shoes. You can sprinkle it in their footprints. And it works the same way as tracking foot tracking magic that I mentioned in the hot foot video I did earlier today. And that's basically it. Um, just be careful with the cloves because uh, some people can be allergic to clove. So wash your hands after you make it, especially if you're going to use the essential oil version. And that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Blessed be.